My first question is, what is your opinion about machine intelligence mm -hmm. and its applicational potential? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I think uh, it's important to learn from the biological brain and the, uh, the, uh, the biological brain can, uh, has uh, much larger capability compared to the uh, artificial intelligence machines uh, mm -hmm. at present, uh, in recent days. So uh, I think it's uh, very important to learn uh, from the uh, biological brain first. And then uh, if you understand the uh, mechanism, and then uh, it's better to apply it to the real application. Uh, to, uh, to uncover the mechanism of the biological brain, uh, the uh, well, modern neural network is very important. Well, uh, it, it can be uh, said, in other words, uh, uh, the uh, hypothesis. Uh, we make the hypothesis uh, following the uh, ideas which are obtained by uh, neurophysiology, psychology, and uh, many other uh, experimental results for the biological brain. And then uh, we uh, try to con uh, construct the uh, neural network model. And uh, in that case, uh, we do not know uh, enough uh, information to complete the whole uh, neural, network, neural network model. So uh, we, we try to follow the uh, evidence which have been uh, already known uh, as faithful as possible and uh, make a model. But however, uh, there are many points which we do not know yet. So for that point, uh, it's important to uh, make uh, some hypothesis and uh, make the net neural network behave uh, in a way, in the same way as uh, the uh, human brain. Mm -hmm. And uh, once we uh, construct a neural network model, uh, then uh, we uh, simulate or um, we analyze the behavior of the model using uh, mathematical analysis or uh, computer simulation. And then uh, we give uh, some uh, well, stimulus to the model and uh, observe the behavior of the model. And also, uh, we compare, we give the same uh, stimulus to the biological brain and the, uh, observe the behavior of the biological brain and compare the two. And uh, if the model behaves differently from the uh, biological brain, then uh, we, uh, we, we feel that uh, the original hypothesis was wrong. So uh, we modify the uh, hypothesis and uh, re Modify the model again, and then uh, com compare the uh, behavior of the uh, new and the uh, new model and the uh, uh, biological brain. So uh, we repeat such process uh, again and again until the model behaves the uh, uh, same way uh, as the uh, biological brain. So uh, although or uh, even though the model are behaving in the same way as the biological brain, uh, it does not. Uh, say that the model, uh, the biological brain be, uh, be, uh, have the same, uh, have the same mechanism as the uh, biological brain. However, uh, the probability of the both system have the same, uh, working in, on the same algorithm is very high. So uh, act, although uh, we need to uh, make the uh, experiment ag again uh, to verify if the model, uh, physiological and psychological uh, experiment to uh, verify if the model is uh, actually true or not. However, the, uh, there is a very high probability of the model uh, working in the same uh, mechanism as the brain. So once the uh, mechanism of the brain uh, is understood uh, by that modern research, then uh, we can simply apply it to the uh, real application. Uh, when uh, we uh, analyze the model, uh, or simulate the model. Uh, we uh, write the behavior, of, uh, the mechanism of the model uh, by a computer program. So uh, it's very easy to apply to the real application. So do you believe mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. brain will be created or not? Because well, your uh, work. It depends on the uh, definition. Yeah. Well, uh, if we. Uh, want to construct the uh, real biological brain, it would take centuries and centuries. However, uh, it, during the process to approaching the uh, real biological brain, uh, we, we can have uh, many applications uh, in each step. Mm -hmm. So.
So uh, I think the uh, modern research is a uh, very uh, good tool for uh, not only for understanding the brain, but also for uh, getting uh, new ideas for uh, design principles of uh, the uh, information processing system in the future. Do you have also any dream with the new, uh, new Cognitron? Mm. Uh, what do you wish to improve in your system? Well, uh, well uh, I'd like to introduce some uh, well, active vision system, uh, mechanism for active vision. Uh, in the uh, recent neocognition, it works uh, passively to the input stimulus. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'd like to introduce some uh, active process uh, and in, and uh, depending on the uh, stimulus, the uh, neocognition uh, changes uh, or uh, focus uh, attention to different uh, uh, point or uh, what the uh, system uh, want to uh, are interested in, uh, they observe that point uh, more uh, precisely. For example, uh, like the uh, eye movement model, uh, the uh, the retina of a uh, eye has uh, high acuity at the center, but the uh, acuity of the uh, or the resolution is very low in the periphery. Uh, so, uh, hu human beings uh, move our eyes with a saccade, and uh, we focus our attention to the uh, place w w where uh, we are interested in, uh, which we are interested in. So, uh, such a mechanism is uh, one example of the uh, future uh, problem.